So today I'm going to be doing this smoky eye look for you. I really, really like how this look turned out. I was just playing around with some new products and everything, and I really like it. So if you guys want to see this tutorial, then please keep on watching. And also I will list all the products that I use down below. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, then just let me know. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is use this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And this came in my Ipsy bag and it's the first time that I used it. I didn't really see a dramatic difference, but... I'm definitely going to try it out a couple more times to see if I can really tell a difference or not. So I'm just applying that all over my face as a base for my foundation. So once I apply the primer, I'm just going to be going in with my Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. And I'm just going to be dotting it all over my face. And then once that's over with, I'm going to be taking my Real Text... Real Techniques brush and just buffing it out all over my face. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my LA Colors Press Powder and this is in the color Nude and I'm going to be taking this little Victoria's Secret brush and just applying it all over my face to um, keep the foundation from creasing. Next, I'm going in with my Lorac Pro Contour Kit, and I'm using the Light Contour Shade. And I'm taking the brush that comes with the kit, and I'm just applying it. I'm just applying the product all over my face, not necessarily trying to blend it yet. Just putting it in the spots that it needs to go in. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in with this Morphe brush, and it's a blush brush, I believe, or maybe it's a contour brush, I'm not 100% sure. It came in a kit, so there's not a name for it. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to be smoothing out the contour that I just put and just blending it, just so that there's not any harsh lines. And this process took a very long time, so you're just going to want to keep doing this until you you're done until you feel like you're done <laughs> then I'm going back in with that Victoria's Secret brush with no product on it and I'm just once again blending it just to even everything out once again Okay, so next thing I'm doing is going in with this Maybelline Master Highlighting Blush, and this is in the color Mauve. This is my favorite blush ever, and I love it because it's a good highlighter and blush, so you don't have to worry too much about the highlight when you use this blush. And I'm just applying this all over the apples on my cheeks and bringing it up a little bit to my temples, kind of, because that's how I like wearing blush, so yeah. <laughs> So next I'm going to be doing my brows and I'm just going in with this NYC eyebrow pencil and it's in the color taupe and I'm just applying the product all over my brows. I'm still trying to kind of learn how to do the do my brows and like figure out how I like them done. So yeah, this is kind of like a work in progress, but I'm just applying the product all over my brows and then taking the spoolie. This is a BH Cosmetics brush and just spreading the product around. So once that's done, I'm just taking this NYX High Definition Eyelid Primer and just applying it on my eyes. I'm not a huge, huge fan of this eyelid primer, but I guess it's okay. I just don't like that it spreads the product around after I use it. I feel like it defeats the purpose of a primer, but I'll keep trying it. And next I'm going in with this BH Cosmetics brush, and I'm using the Morphe 350 palette, and I'm just using this light brown shade. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my crease and just blending it out. So once I'm done applying the color to my lids, then I'm, I mean to my um, crease, I'm just going to be taking a Morphe 
brush and this is kind of like a fluffy brush and I'm just blending that color out. So then once I'm done with that, I'm going to be going in with this Sally Girl eyeshadow and this is in the color Snow. And I'm just going to be applying that to my brow bone and just spreading it out. So once that's done, I'm just going to be going back in with the same BH brush and I'm just going to be spreading the brown out just to blend it up. Next I'm going in with this Naked Cosmetics eyeshadow pigment and this is in the color Sierra Nevada and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. So next I'm going to be going back in with the Morphe 350 palette and I'm taking another dark brown and I'm just applying that all over the crease and this is just to kind of add depth to the look and just so that the brown on the lid isn't just too crazy out of nowhere. <laughs> so at this point my camera kind of cut off so I'm just picking back where I left off. And I'm taking this Solazzi, uh Matte Eyeshadow and this is in M752. And I'm just applying that to the sides using the BH brush and then... I realized that that brush was too small so I used a different BH Cosmetics brush and this one's a little fluffier and it makes the application a lot smoother. So I'm just using the black in the outer corner of my eyes. So once that's done, I'm just taking the same brush and without adding any extra product, I'm just spreading that color around the crease just to darken it up a little bit. Next, I'm going to be going in with this mini Sigma brush and this is the E05. And then I'm taking the Bin Nye Media Pro Eye Definer and this is in black. And I'm just going to be lining my lids and I'm doing... A semi wean but not really because you can't really tell the difference because of the black in the um, outer corner but I'm just gonna be applying eyeliner and you can just apply it however you like I just like to do kind of a thick layer when I'm doing um, black eyeshadow because I want it to stick out so yeah and then I also took the Victoria's Secret brush because I found a um, it looked like some eyeshadow on my face so I just brushed that away no big deal so next I'm going in with this Lancome Coal Liner Pencil and this is in Black Ebony and I'm just going to be lining my waterline and I'm just going to apply a thick layer because it is a smoky eye and then I'm going to be going back in with the 350 palette and I'm going to be taking the smaller VH Cosmetics brush and I'm taking the dark brown and just applying it down by the waterline just to smoke out the eyeliner and everything just to give it that smoky look. And then I'm just going back in with the fluffier BH brush and I'm just smoking that out even more. So next I'm just taking this uh, NYC eyelash curler, just curling my lashes, and then I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm just going to be applying that to the top and bottom lashes. You can definitely use falsies. I think that would look great with this look, but that's one of the things that I'm not very good at. So right now, for this purpose, I'm just not going to use them yet. <laughs> so once that is done, then I'm going to be brushing off any excess product with the Victoria's Secret brush. Next, I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics Waterproof Liner, and this is in the color Earth. This is my favorite neutral eyeliner ever. I mean lip liner, I'm sorry. And I'm just applying that all around my lips. And then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Lipstick in Pink Ice. And I'm just applying that all over once again. And then I realized that it was too pink for me. So I decided to kind of make it more of a nude color by using the e.l.f. Facial uh, Shivering Whip. And just applying that all over my lips. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please comment and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!